Hello, my beautiful Larry's friends. This is Brandon, Fire Daddy Tarot. Got some cards for you today, Aries. Work on uh, financial reads this week, money and abundance reads, whatever you want to call them, Aries. Career read, if you want to call it that. Got a little jumper there. We'll get to that in a minute. A little announcement for everybody. Currently doing a drive to a thousand subscribers. We're like 673 as of recording this. Once we get to 1,000 subscribers, we're going to have a big getaway. Getaway. Giveaway with a big tarot party. And uh, give away some tarot deck and sage and some other stuff. I don't know. Kaylee's the one organizing it. So I'll know more details about that when we actually announce how to enter. Anyway, Aries. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, Venus, Money and Abundance Tarot. We got a jumper there. Uh, so let's tell them to see and speak clearly for my Aries friends today. Help Aries to see and hear what they need to see and hear out of this. For their highest good, another jumper, three jumpers. Thank you, my gods. Can't do this without you. Got this deck, then we'll get in all them jumpers there, and well, we'll see what they're about. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. What do we got? We get the Will of Fortune, the Empress, and the Queen of Pentacles is here for you, Aries. It's not a horrible way to start a uh, money in abundance or a career read, Aries. It's not bad at all. And what the wheel's about changing possibilities, Empress about. Nurture yourself, take care of yourself. Queen of Pentacles, well, it's a card about luxury and abundance, and it's also a card about manifestation. Hmm. Aries, what are you working on? Queen of Swords is here as well, Aries. Queen of Swords is here as well, Aries. Cutting off a little old uh, not having enough money situation. You got change coming here for you. Big manifesting energy here, Aries. If you're working on manifesting in some new uh, prosperity, looks nice for you, Aries. The death cards here, Aries. Old cycles ending, man. New cycles beginning in the realm of finances for you, Aries. It's the Aries I'm reading for here. This is looking nice, man. You're cutting off some old uh, behaviors, maybe, or situations. It could be situations you're cutting off too. But you're cutting something off here, ending the old cycle with it. A whole new financial world here at the Wheel of Fortune of the Empress. Aries. So far, so good, my friend. I like it, Aries. Some more of these Terror of the Divine on this for Aries, please. Two wands. Aries, you've been focusing on two different decisions. One could be uh, focusing on staying the way things are, keeping your current job and all that. You might keep it anyway, but What's this other decision about, Aries? What's she focusing on here? I do see you making some changes here. The wrong money. Aries, what are you doing, dude? Four swords is here with the Empress. Aries took a freaking break from something stressful. If you got out of like your corporate job or just a job that was dragging you down and Moved into something better, maybe like working for yourself, working on a passion, but you're definitely manifesting in something nice here in the world of money. King of Wands, there's Aries energy right there. Oh, focus and stability. It's also about action. It's a good card, Aries. King of Wands, it's your energy, Aries, that fire energy, man. For you, like Phoenix from Free. Blah, 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 blah. Words, Phoenix from its ashes there. It's kind of what I'm getting. It looks a bit like a Phoenix with peacock feathers on the tail, though. But still, Aries coming out of some kind of crap situation here. Took a break from it for a while. Coming out in a big way, though. Ten of Swords, here is the end of that uh, mentally straining cycle. I do think this was about a walking away from a specific work situation, which just wasn't doing it monetarily or spiritually for you aries coming out of that in a nice way manifesting in something new here and if you're starting a business or if you found another job aries but congratulations ace of wands is here it's coming out the death card about ending that old cycle and beginning the new one and creating a whole new beautiful path for yourself 
Ace of Wands. I like to call that one writing a whole new chapter for yourself, Aries. It's a beautiful energy, my friend. Beautiful energy. Aries. Some Oracle cards on this for Aries, please. Go to the Yin Yangs. Yin Yang Oracles for Aries. See what they're going to talk about on this. Aries, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus. Aries coming out of. Uh, Looks like an old work situation that just wasn't working for him. Writing a whole new chapter here, though, man. It's nice, Aries. First two of these we got are uh, stability, flow, and harmony. It's here. That's nice, Aries. Get back and flow with yourself, with your own beautiful energy, instead of uh, dealing with everybody else's energy that's holding you back. It's nice, Aries. And then trust and divine timing is here, Aries. Hey, hey, man, this was meant to happen. Aries here meant for better things than uh, sticking around a job situation that ain't going for them. Let me know in the comments what you guys are working on, Aries. If you found a new job or you're looking to go out in your own business here, but you definitely made some changes in the realm of uh, career and finances, Aries. Good for you. Present, abundant, and gratitude. Couldn't be more thankful for where you've come to now, where you're at now, though, could you? Aries, I don't know what you're working on here, but it's looking fantastic for you, man. Looking good, Aries. Confusion is here. Might have been some of that. Could have been what this uh, mentally drained energy was with all these swords here. But I'd say you've done come out of that. You cut that off. You cut that off. Whatever this was about, whether it was an old work situation, I do kind of think it was, Aries. I think this was an old work situation that you got out of. Either found you a new job or you started your own business and it's going good for you. Aries, it's a beautiful energy, man. One more of these cards, please. The feminine is here. Doesn't mean I'm reading for a woman. It's just about having your third eye wide the hell open, Aries. Spotting the opportunities that exist for you and taking advantage of the best ones for you. Aries, it's a nice looking read, man. Making some changes in your financial world. Grab an Oracle card on this for Aries, please. Star Code Dash Oracle for Aries today. Star Code Dash Oracle want to talk about for Aries. Finish this beautiful little spread off. Square, semi-square, quincunx, tension. Yeah, there was some tension. It's the number 54, Aries, if you want to check out the numerology behind it. But so you're coming out of that tension now, man. Coming out of that tension in a good way. Might be some new tension, but I think this new tension is more of a challenging good tension than it is that old crap you were dealing with with this old work situation down here. Aries looks great for you, my friends. If you enjoyed this, Aries... Be sure to leave a like. If you really enjoyed it, Aries, go check out the uh, donation links in the description box down below. If you want to see more like this, Aries, check out this video over here. YouTube thinks you're going to enjoy it. Have a good day, my friends. Bye.